Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a video that I'm very excited about because it's going to be a reading vlog and in this reading vlog I'm going to be continuing a series that I recently started and was really enjoying and I'm very intrigued to see where it's going and that is going to be me reading A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. Recently I filmed a reading vlog for the first book A Court of Thorns and Roses which I don't know if it's up yet. I'm not sure when I'm posting it. So um, if it's up, I'll link it. If not, be on the lookout, I guess. I'm just so intrigued to see how this book goes because there are certain things that I know like have to happen and I am fascinated to see like how they happen because reading the first book, I was confused because I thought I knew things, but I did not know things. I am so excited to start this. I picked up the audiobook for it as well, so that's fun. We love audiobooks around here. That's kind of my only reading plan for the week. It's December 28th right now, so I'm really hoping I can finish this before the end of the year. Like, I've already met my Goodreads goal, so it doesn't really matter that much, but that's like it for my reading plans. But as for like life plans today, I have to go back to my apartment today, which is like a two hour drive from my house because I have to go work a shift at my job because it's something with like not working for 30 consecutive days or like be kicked off the schedule. It's a whole thing. So I'm just going back to work one shift over the break. So gonna go do that. Obviously gonna listen to my audiobook to and from, get in some reading, good stuff. That's kind of, kind of the plans for the week. Nothing major, just gonna be me trying to read this book. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. What I'm gonna do right now though is update my reading journal because I have not updated it literally in like three months. I am so far behind. I'm not gonna try and do like any spreads or anything because I do not have the motivation to do that right now, but I do want to update my books read spread, so. I am back in my room at school and I absolutely have to talk about what I read via audiobook on my way here. <laughs> oh my god, I was like screaming. How do I set this? Okay, so I've made it up to page 80 of A Court of Mist and Fury and I am loving this book so much. I just, well, first of all, I was pissed because, you know, Feyre is... I was just not liking the vibe of what was happening at the spring court. After she went to go see a certain someone, I was like, oh, so that's how it's gonna be. Literally everything that happened at the wedding, I was like, oh, oh, oh. I don't even have any words because I was literally just screaming the whole time. I don't know, Reese is such a prick. Like, she hit the nail on the head. He is indeed a prick, but I love him. <laughs> yeah, honestly, in the first book, I was skeptical as to whether I would actually like him or not because when they first introed him, I was like, I don't know, man. He seems like just a prick prick, but you're starting to see he's kind of like, you know, he cares for her, but he's still a prick, which is the best kind of prick. Okay, I've said prick too many times. I don't condone people being rude, like just for no reason, but in books, I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'm enjoying it so far. I love that it's so long because I need, I need more of this. It's just so, oh my God, it's just so entertaining. It's like crack, I don't know. I have to read more. I'm gonna read some more tonight. It's like 11.45 maybe. Oh my God, 11.45 on the dot. Do we, do we see? Damn it. I'm gonna take a bath because I've really been wanting to take a bath and read some more of this book. I'm so excited. Okay, it's the next morning. It is 7.13 and I'm tired, but I work today from 8 to 1.45 and then I'm literally just planning on going back home from there. See, is this trip kind of convoluted? Maybe, but it was necessary, so. But I do plan on, well actually, I'll talk to you after work. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, 
so I just got off of my shift and I got out early which I'm very excited about so now I'm going to drive the two hours back home today and I'm actually not too mad about all the driving that I have to do because that means I have more time to listen to my audiobook for a court of mist and fury which I am so excited to see what's gonna happen next in this book and see where it goes I'm just I'm just having such a good time and it's literally all because of Reese like I love him like he's an ass but i love him which seems to be how i feel about a lot of men in books is that telling I don't... okay i know i said i was going home but um i had a wonderful thought <laughs> what if i went to Barnes and noble so uh i think i'm gonna pick up a quarter frost and starlight because i know i'm gonna want to read it and this Barnes and noble is so easy to get to it's right on my way out of town when i'm like at home the closest Barnes and noble is like 30 minutes away so i'm just gonna like pop it grab it i'm excited i don't know should i be buying more books no but i'm gonna do it anyway So I completely forgot that they were having their 50% off all hardbacks sale, so I kind of got two books instead. So we have A Court of Frost and Starlight, which is a continuation of the, maybe it's a novella, well yeah, it's a novella size. I don't know, I just know I want to read it. And then I've also been meaning to pick this up for a while just to round out my Lee Bardugo collection. I never bought it because I was like $25, I don't really want to spend that for a book that I probably don't want that badly, but 50% off? uh what was I gonna do say no so i picked up the lives of saints which is very pretty it was only 12.50 so i had to anyway um was not planning on spending money on books today but alas i think i also have books coming in the mail tomorrow so it's never ending i'm not mad about it though because i'm really excited for tomorrow's package so now now i'm going home i would say i'm here to update you um on my my progress but i think i listened to like all of about three pages and then it's like hmm, i kind of want to listen to music but that's okay because i think i want to start annotating it instead so it's like good to stop while i'm ahead you know so i'm going to work on like finding the key moments that happened like in the first part and like kind of writing down what my reactions are like pseudo annotating it just so the like the whole book will be annotated you know i don't know anyway thoughts overall from those three pages i hate tamlin um this is gonna be like slight spoilers maybe i don't know i feel like it doesn't really matter that much but if you don't want to know um skip to when i am not holding this book here <laughs> tamlin's the worst and i feel bad for Farah. and like i know this is the point and i know he has to like get out of the picture and this is clearly how she's doing it the thing is i really liked him in the first book but i think that's because you didn't really know him that well now that he's in a position of power his gross mistreatment of women is coming out and i don't like it those are my thoughts on this book i also need to finish my bullet journal spread from yesterday so i'm also going to do that so exciting exciting plans for the night as you can tell made it to page what are we at here 205 there we go of a court of mist and fury and i'm having a good time still what's even happened oh right we've met like cassian and asriel and all of those people that i've heard of but now i finally like understand who they are and what their relation to like everybody else in the world is so that's fun too i'm so tired now it's not even nine she good night friends all right guys it's the next day and i spent a decent chunk of this morning filming some videos but i made it up to like page 200 of a court of mist and fury last night which I may or may not have told you, I don't remember to be honest. I'm gonna go to lunch, but when I get back from lunch, I'm going to read more. I'm very excited to read more. 
and yeah that's the update all right so my package has finally arrived and i know i have not done much updating today but i got books and you're probably gonna think i'm absolutely insane for what is in this box i could carefully not hurt myself with the exacto knife because i don't have a pair of scissors up here although this blade is probably older than i am so i'm not too concerned oh my gosh these are in really good condition too so i have been scouring ebay for a good deal on the shadow and bone trilogy in the original covers and i know i already have some but like here's the here's the issue these are the two that i have so i have ruin and rising and siege and storm and they're different heights and it makes me mad every day and then i also ordered shadow and bone but it never came it said it was delivered to my apartment and it just wasn't there so i never got it so that's very unfortunate so i've been trying to find just a set of them. I just want a set of the original paperbacks. That's all I want. But then I found this lot on eBay for a really good deal of the original three and then two other books, which I was like, you know, I've already read these, but I don't have them in hardback yet. So, well, I guess I have one of them in hardback. Look, we're no judgment here, okay? First up, I have the Shadow and Bone series in paperbacks and they all match, same height, very satisfying. I'm very happy about it. They're also in really good condition. Like, do we see these spines? Like, no cracking. Love it. Do I already own all three of these books? Yes, but I will probably end up selling these other two that I have. They look so good. I'm so excited. And then as for the other two, this was just like a part of the lot and I was like, well, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hardcover of Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom and this one's got the red sprayed pages and this one has the black sprayed pages which is so cool. I've never had a book that has black sprayed pages before and I love it. Now I have two editions. No. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I have three editions of Crooked Kingdom now. Oh it's fine. Me and my children. Should I get the other ones in here too? Aww. Oh, I'm not insane, trust me. There's my unboxing. I'm honestly really happy to have these in hardback. Who described this as Harry Potter meets Game of Thrones? I... No. Like, does anybody think that's accurate? I... I do not agree. There aren't even dragons in this. Anyway, <laughs> that's that. I have not read any more of A Court of Mist and Fury, but I'm going to later. I've been working on editing a video all day, and honestly, I'm tired. <laughs> but I am going to get back to it eventually. So... Good morning all. I did, a <laughs> I did a very bad job of filming yesterday. I also didn't read anything, so that's how my New Year's Eve went. But it is currently January 1st of 2022, so um, happy new year. I'm very excited to get started on my reading for the year. So I'm still like halfway through. Did I update you on what I had read? I don't think I have. Hang on. I'm now halfway through A Court of Mist and Fury and things have happened, but I don't remember what things. A lot of- they went to the summer court and there's a lot of- a lot of politicking and whatnot. They're trying to find this book. I don't- I don't know. So I'm going to read some of that today. This will be the first book I finished in 2022 and I'm excited about that. And I'm also going to work on some bullet journal spreads this morning for 2022. I've been doing a very- bad job of keeping my bullet journal updated so i'm going to start off the year right and figure something out so i'm gonna do that also it snowed last night which i'm very excited about those are kind of just my plans for the day gonna be pretty chill
Admittedly, I've done a very bad job at keeping you updated with how Court of Mist and Fury is going because I'm now like 40 pages away from the end and I haven't talked to you in like 300 pages. But it's fine. I'm fine. I just started reading this book like at 10 and it's now like 5 and I haven't put it down because it is just so... Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it is so entertaining. I love this book so much more than I liked the first one. I just really love seeing... Oh, just all the characters are so good. Like, seeing Reese and Feyre's relationship develop over this book has just been so good. I love all the side characters. Cassian is my favorite. Um, so that definitely means I'll have to read A Court of Silver Flames after I'm finished with, like this series you know and honestly like the plot's not bad either usually like plots don't really matter that much to me if the characters are good but I generally find this plot to be kind of interesting they're getting to like a very big moment um which I guess you kind of saw me drawing um a little picture of it I love drawing tiny pictures in my books even though they're not good um just kind of describing what's going on because it's it's just kind of fun to look back on so maybe that's a spoiler um you had to know it was gonna happen though. Like there's just in a, like a fantasy book, you know, like if they have to find this thing, they're probably gonna find this thing at some point. Yeah, get into the big parts. They have just infiltrated a kingdom. I'm gonna see how that goes. I hope no one dies. I don't think anybody dies, but I don't know. So um, we'll find out, but obviously I'm not gonna tell you if someone dies, so. Yeah, I'm really excited to get to these last couple pages. Am I gonna start A Court of Wings and Ruin tonight? Who knows? I... No, maybe I should give her a moment. Let this book sink in a little bit. I don't know though. We'll just see what the ending of this book is like because if it's a cliffhanger, obviously I'm gonna start the next one. I'm freaking out. What is this? I can't talk, like, I can't even tell you what happened, but I'm like, what is going on right now? I just, this last sentence of chapter 63, what is this? I don't like it. I am somehow not surprised though. I just, I just don't know. Oh no. Oh no. This is just a lot right now. <laughs> oh no, no. Mm, no, I don't like that. literally just keeps getting worse. Hold on now. I was not expecting that.
I literally have no words. And <laughs> so, oh my god, the ending of this book is honestly everything. I I love it. Like, it's so, so many things are happening. It's so chaotic, but I'm into it. I, ooh, I only have like 10 pages left and I don't know. I just don't know big things are happening. The ending of this book is wild, so I'm just gonna continue. Oh, boo. Ooh. We got a recent chapter. Love. casually ignore that I put 2021 on here instead of 2022. Took me a long time to get these in the right place and I didn't realize until the very end. So it's it's just gonna stay like that. It's time to wrap up the vlog. Okay, so last night I finished A Court of Mist and Fury and I'm honestly um, furious, <laughs> bad joke, that my camera stopped recording literally the second I read the last word. It was just like, charge your battery, bitch. Whatever, it's fine. And then I didn't film anything else last night. So, um, like I said, it's done. I am obviously giving it a five stars. I mean, there's no way I couldn't. It was so good, I just, <laughs> This book was, I loved it. I'm so glad I decided to start reading this series because this book was honestly everything I needed. I d it's so entertaining. I love all the characters, the relationships, the friendships, the plot. I love it. Like, it's so good. Who knew? Who knew? Well, everybody knew but me. I'm just, yes, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to continue it. I'm gonna start reading a court of me, forgetting what it's called, Ring, Ring? Wings and Ruin. <laughs> today but obviously i'm gonna end the vlog so that'll probably be in a different vlog though the the ending of this book oh my god it was so chaotic literally so many big things were happening every five seconds i was like oh what we're doing we're doing what now <laughs> it was a lot but it was so it was just so fast-paced and entertaining and honestly once i hit like 50 pages from the end i could not put it down and i was i mean i probably couldn't really put it down the whole time but i was reading it so fast i was like hello what What's going on, I must know. It was just so good. And the ending of it, I'm just so excited to see what's gonna happen in Aqua War. Is that the, yeah. Um, because the end, like the very last couple pages of this book, I was like, I don't like this regression, not a fan, but I think it's gonna lead to some very fun plot and whatnot. I'm also very excited that this is the first book that I finished in 2022, so already working towards that Goodreads challenge. <laughs> also, if anyone's curious, I set my Goodreads goal to 50 books. So if you do it, uh, let me know what your Goodreads goal for the year is. I'm curious. Do you think you're gonna meet it? Are you being ambitious? Are you playing it safe? I don't know. Let me know. I will see you guys in my next vid. Like and subscribe. Um, I, I, yeah, that's it. Bye. <laughs>